Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about um, <clears throat> theories, theories or whatever of uh, the, cre the creation of the universe, the origins of the universe. I just want to give you a lowdown on the, on you know, the beliefs of how our universe came into existence. Now, the first one, of course, is you know the evolutionary theory, which you know, theory. You know, in the States, the universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang and all stars, planets and life arose through natural process and random chance, random, just, you know, just, just a random dumb chance, you know, just one in a billion times over, you know, chances that, you know, everything became order, you know, everything, you know, all the stuff became, you know, the way it is. Now, the second one is theist, theistic evolution. The universe was created by Yahweh through the aid of evolutionary process. The third one is day-age theory. The universe was created by Yahweh with each day of creation representing an undefined period of time. I don't know if you've heard of these, you know, you've heard, you know, you've heard of revolution, but the other ones I'm sure you probably haven't heard of, or some, some of them maybe. Got the, the gap theory. The universe was created by Yahweh with a gap of time, possibly millions, billions of years, between Genesis 1 verse 1 and chapter 1 verse 2. They claim it's a big, just a big gap in between them, you know. Now we got the 24-hour theory. The universe was created in six literal days with each day of creation representing a 24-hour day. Now, that does sound sound good and it does kind of sound biblical. Yeah, I, I grant that, you know. So, it sounds biblical. But, the thing is... You know, in my belief, you know, I go by, you know, go by the Bible, but in my belief, and it's my, my belief only, and probably there's others, but, you know, I believe the earth was created billions of years before humans got on earth, and then, you know, that was uh, the angel's first estate, and what happened was Satan and his angels rebelled, destroyed the earth, and, you know, basically the universe, the other planets, rebelled against Yahweh and Yahweh, you know, put put the rebellion down. That's that's you know, I go that's why that's what the hints in the Bible, you know, um kinda like uh right here in the one six and that wait a minute. In the beginning Yahweh uh, Elohim created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of Elohim moved upon the face of the waters. And Elohim said, let there be light, and there was light. So, you know, when, when Yahweh creates, he don't create anything of a waste or desolate or anything. Something happened. He created the earth, yeah, but he gave, he gave it to the angels to govern and you know, build upon, and actually they failed. So Yahweh's next thing, what he wanted to do was reproduce himself and create so something in his image. The angels aren't in Yahweh's image. So he created children. So that's where Adam and Eve come in, and later on, you know, the child, all the children. But um, you got to be, you know, kind of worry about these other, these theories, you know, because they, they're just theories, and that's, that's, at best, they're just theories. But, you know, the Bible is consistent. It don't contradict each other. You know, it, the only thing it contradicts is when uh, mankind gets into the scriptures and he adds adds stuff to verses, takes them away, changes words around, or bad translations, you know. I mean, there's certain words in Hebrew or even Greek that, you know, you can't translate into an English word, so you got to substitute it with something. That's plain and simple. And then there's other words, you know, italicized, you know, um, at the italics, you know, the um, words you got to put in there to make make a sentence or a verse 
makes sense. You know, but I just wanted to share those theories with you. Just because, you know, if the case you don't, I never heard of them or anything. Uh, but that's all they are is theories. It's just mankind trying to explain the origins of the universe, life on Earth, without a creator, you know. You know, the, a creation without a creator. It makes a lot of sense. But, you know, that's, that's all I wanted to say to you. And I thought the message was just important. And as always, thank you. Please like like my channels. You know, hit the subscribe, notification bells. Comment below. Share this with everybody. And I humbly, humbly thank you again for, you know, watching my videos. Until we meet again, you know, shalom and peace out.